everybody, it's Mr. Kurtzinger, and I'm excited to be here again today to do a, another drawing activity with y'all today. So get your pens and pencils and papers ready, because uh, we are going to continue to talk about the element of shape. Uh, so before we get to drawing, let's review a little bit. Um, shapes, we have geometric shapes and organic shapes. Now, of course, geometric shapes are those circles and squares and triangles. Uh, we all know what I'm talking about when I talk about a square because there are certain rules that we follow when we draw a square. Like it has to have four sides and all those sides have to be equal length, okay? Organic shapes are a little bit harder to define. Um, organic shapes are based on objects that you might see in nature that are not so easy to define because they don't have a specific amount of sides and they don't have a specific length or angle. So um, objects like rocks and leaves and clouds and even like water droplets are all organic shapes that we can choose to draw in our artwork. So our objective for today is to draw something using some basic shapes, uh, geometric and organic. So looking at something an animal or a plant or any object really, and breaking it down into its most basic shapes is a really useful way to start drawing something just to get it down on paper before you start to build it up and add detail. So let me show you what I mean. Here we have a picture of a flamingo and it's a nice looking flamingo right now, but if I wanna draw that flamingo, my first uh, thing that I would do would be to break it down into some basic shapes that I can use as my building blocks for that drawing. So if I look a little bit more closely, I can see that the beak is actually some sort of triangle, the head is an oval, and the body is a big oval as well. I can also look at the tail as a triangle, and the neck and the legs as their own sort of rectangles as well. So that's what you'll be doing today. We're gonna to take a photograph of an animal and you're just going to draw the basic shapes that you see in that photograph. Now, I am going to show you an example of drawing my dog, Willie, because I'm obsessed with him. And I'm just going to use a paper and pencil and I'm going to be looking at a photograph of Willie and showing you how I can break that photograph down into some basic shapes that I draw on my paper. Now this is just an example. So after you watch me do this, you will have some photographs of different animals to work from, and I want you to pick one of those photographs and do your own version of this. Okay, so here I have my best friend, Willie, and I'm going to start out by looking at the overall shape of his head. It kind of looks like an oval to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to draw an oval. Remember, I want just the basic shape Okay, now for his ears, obviously the ears are going to be pretty triangle shaped. So I'm just going to start with some basic triangles. This one's kind of curved a little bit like that. Now, if you'll notice, I'm looking at his nose as it comes out towards me. And it really kind of, I'm looking at the outline of that nose and it really kind of takes the shape of a triangle. So I'm going to draw, starting about right here, I'm going to draw just a big triangle. And his nose is going to be more of an organic shape. Uh, I, it's not quite an oval or a circle or a square. I'm just going to try and trace the contour line or the outline of what I see as his nose. Then his tongue sticking out here is kind of a half circle, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw just a half circle here. And then I want to make another line to get this more organic shape of his lip coming out like that. Okay, his teeth, of course, are gonna be little tooth shapes. and then his eyes up here. Okay. Might wanna put in the nostrils there as well. All right, and 
And then I can add a few more details. All right, so that's all I'm going for today. Just those basic shapes. Some of you may find this really easy and you may be itching to move on to adding more shapes and lines and even add some shading, but I want you to hold off. We're just trying to get those basic shapes down first. This exercise is about translating what you see in front of you and breaking it down into some of those basic shapes that we have talked about this week. Okay, so again, I would like you to choose one of the photographs that I have provided for you in the assignment. I don't want you to draw a picture of Willie because he's mine. Um, but choose one of those other photographs and I want you to try as best as you can to take a blank piece of paper, look at the photograph on the screen, and then break that photograph down into some other shapes that you see. I hope you have fun with this. Um, let me know if you have any questions by leaving something in the comments. And don't forget to join us today for our uh, Google Meet at 3.20 in the afternoon. All right, see you then.